Hi, I'm Chao Wei Huang from the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and Frederick Health Hospital. Uh, trapping a side branch wire is uh, very common in bifurcation and complex PCI, and usually it's not a problem. In fact, I just did a video about a technique which uh, uses an intentionally trapped wire to increase guide backup. However, what happens uh, when your trapped wire actually gets stuck? Uh, today, we'll go over some techniques uh, to how, uh, for how to free uh, your stuck trap wire. The patient is a 60-year-old woman with high blood pressure who has been having exertional chest pain. Uh, her nuclear stress tests uh, showed anterior and lateral ischemia, and her cath shows a severe disease uh, in the proximal to mid-LED, as well as severe disease in two uh, moderate uh, diagonal branches. Uh, the RCA and circumflex only had minor uh, to mild disease. So I thought I would uh, gently uh, balloon the diagonal branches and then decide on whether to use a non-provisional or provisional uh, uh, stenting approach. So I uh, engaged with a 6 French ABU 3.5 and pretty easily uh, passed uh, workhorse wires into the LED, uh, the first diag and the second diag. And here uh, you see dilation of the first diag with a 25 by 15 millimeter uh, compliant balloon. And the uh, second diag uh, was uh, dilated with a 2.0 uh, by 15 millimeter uh, compliant balloon. And the uh, LED uh, with a, a 3.0 uh, compliant balloon. Um, so um, after uh, balloon angioplasty, uh, we actually had a fairly decent result uh, in the uh, diagonal branches. So I decided to keep things simple uh, and just uh, provisionally stent uh, the uh, LED. So here is a 35 by 38 millimeter DES uh, going into the uh, proximal uh, to mid LED. I then uh, post dilated the stent uh, with a 40 by 20 millimeter NC balloon uh, at uh, high pressure. And notice that I uh, inadvertently skipped the step. I usually remove my side branch wires before doing a high pressure uh, post dilation, and I uh, did not do that here. And generally, actually, it's it's not a problem, uh, but this time uh, we got into trouble. The uh, wire in the first diagonal uh, came out easily. Uh, the wire in the second diagonal, uh, not so much. I tugged and tugged at it, but all that did uh, was deep seat the guide into the LED. Uh, that wire was stuck. Uh, so uh, what do we do now? So um, let's go over my uh, general approach uh, for handling a trapped wire. Um, the first thing to remember is don't pull too hard. Uh, pulling too hard will jerk your guide forward and possibly dissect your main vessel. You can also break the wire and that could put you into a whole other world of trouble. So the first thing you do uh, is uh, to just uh, keep gently tugging at the wire. Uh, rotating and twirling the wire while tugging uh, can help loosen the wire and uh, get it out. Again, remember not to pull too hard, but if you pull too hard and the wire snaps, well then um, you can take a look at my other video in which I go over how to approach a coronary wire fracture. If just tugging at the wire doesn't work, uh, the next thing to do is to try to enlarge the space uh, between the wire and whatever is trapping it, uh, whether it's a stent or a chunk of calcium. The first thing to try is to wedge a microcatheter as far as possible on the wire and then gently tug at the wire. Tapered microcatheter, uh, such as a turnpike, uh, work best for this. And you could actually try to gently torque the microcatheter once it's wedged, but don't over torque it though, because you could end up getting your microcatheter stuck as well. If your wire is trapped by a stent, then trying to free the wire will necessarily deform the stent a little bit. So it's often a good idea to position a balloon in the main branch uh, sized one-to-one uh, -to, -one to the stent so that that stent can be tacked up later. Uh, it can sometimes be difficult to get a balloon back through a stent once uh, that stent becomes uh, mangled. 
So if the microcatheter didn't work, uh, you can also try a small balloon, usually uh, you know 1.5 millimeter or less. Um, again, wedge that balloon as far as, as as far forward on the wire as possible, and then gently tug on the wire. You can also uh, inflate the balloon to open up a little bit of space, deflate it, and then kind of inch the balloon forward uh, while uh, you know tugging on the wire. Again, often a good idea to position another uh, balloon in the main branch uh, while uh, you know, you're deforming your stent. Uh, another approach is to try to apply your tugging force uh, closer to where you think your wire is stuck. And the way to do this is to advance a guide extension catheter uh, as far as possible, uh, or as far forward as possible uh, over your trapped wire. And then pass a long uh, 2.5 uh, millimeter balloon uh, into the guide liner, but next to the trap wire and, and, and keep it inside the guide liner. Uh, inflate that balloon at high pressure inside, uh, inside the guide liner. And this extension, uh, essentially pins the trap wire against the wall of the guide liner. This is kind of like the trapping balloon technique uh, that uh, we sometimes use uh, to exchange wires in, in CTO PCI. And, and once the trapped wire uh, is uh, pinned, uh, gently tug on the guy liner balloon and trap wire uh, as, a, uh, as a unit. Uh, sometimes uh, modifying the geometry around the trap wire is necessary. For instance, uh, there could be a chunk of calcium uh, that is trapping the wire, or uh, there could be crushed stent material, which can sometimes happen uh, in, in crush uh, bifurcation techniques. In these cases, uh, you could try to advance a second wire uh, parallel to the trap wire and inflate the balloon uh, on, that second uh, on that second parallel wire where uh, the wire is stuck. And after you modify the geometry, you can again try all the other techniques, uh, including tugging, you know, using a microcatheter or a small balloon, and, and pinning the trap uh, wire inside a guide extension catheter. Uh, finally, if you tried everything and still can't free your wire, uh, then you'll have to call your friendly cardiac surgeons uh, to help you. Okay, so what happened to our patient? Well, the first thing I tried was to wedge a, a Turnpike LP microcatheter as far as possible on the wire, but that did not loosen the wire enough to, uh, for it to move. So the next thing I tried was to advance a 1.2 millimeter compliant balloon uh, on the trap wire. I, I, uh, I wedged it, I inflated it, deflated it, and was able to kind of slowly inchworm it forward bit by bit. And here is as far as the uh, balloon got. And, Shortly after the shot, uh, the, uh, the wire finally came out after a little bit more tugging uh, to our uh, great uh, relief. I then tacked the stent back up with a 4.0 by 20 millimeter NC balloon at high pressure. It was actually a little tricky uh, to get this NC balloon back into the stent, and hence my suggestion to keep an uh, uninflated balloon uh, in the main branch while working on the trapped wire. And here is the uh, final angiographic result, which I thought was quite nice. Um, OCT showed uh, good stent expansion and apposition, and uh, I did not see any evidence of a proximal dissection. Uh, we watched the patient overnight. Uh, she did well and went home the next day. All right, uh, take home messages. Um, the first message is to avoid the problem in the first place. Uh, avoid post dilating at high pressure when you have a trap wire in place. Now, if your wire ends up getting stuck, uh, we went over techniques to get it free. Um, first, uh, keep tugging gently at the wire. You can twirl the wire and try tugging again. Uh, you can try enlarging the space for the trap wire with either a microcatheter or a small balloon. You can try inflating the small balloon at low pressure. You can try pinning the trap wire inside a guide liner to apply your tugging force uh, closer to where uh, your wire is stuck. And in, in some scenarios, you can try to reshape the vessel or stent geometry around the uh, trap wire by inflating another balloon next to it. And if your wire is still stuck, then um, you will need to call surgery to get your wire out. And finally, remember never to pull too hard. Uh, you could end up snapping your wire or uh, dissecting uh, your vessel. Thank you for watching.